Let us lift up our both hands and look into Jesus. The name of Jesus is the name given from heaven for the salvation and redemption of the whole world. Acts chapter 4, 12. In that precious name, sick people will be healed, possessed will be delivered, all those who are weak and fragile will be filled with the Holy Spirit. So we lift up our hands in the name of Jesus. That name is powerful. All those who call on that name shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says, All those who shall call on this name shall be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So right now, we trust in the name of Jesus. We trust in the name of Jesus. And all those who trust in that name, what you ask now, you will receive it. And what I ask, I will have it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And Jesus invites everyone to take rest. Mark chapter 6 verse 31. Jesus said, please come and take some rest because they are tired doing the work. So Jesus said, come away to a deserted place. And now Jesus invites you and me to be with Jesus one hour. This is called a deserted place. And all by yourself and rest a while. So we will get to rest in the name of Jesus. For uh, many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. So Jesus knows all the struggle, trouble and our tiredness in this one hour, three to four. The Lord is going to give you energy. You and I will be energized right now. How many of you are weak and tired? Please lift up your hand. Jesus invites you. How many of you are weak and tired? How many of you are sick and worried? Lift up your hands. Call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Continuously call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Keep on calling upon the name of Jesus. Keep on calling upon the name of Jesus. He invites you to take rest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We worship you. Thank you. I praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There are people who have a heart ailments. They are being healed. A person's name, Alfonso. You are being healed of your heart ailments, which the medicine cannot heal you. Even surgery cannot heal you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Another Jesus. person, Jerin. You are healed of your heart pain and ailments and sickness. Nobody can heal you except Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 says, Come to me, all of you are carrying heavy burden, burden of sickness, burden of problems, difficulties, misunderstanding, misinterpretation, family problems. Jesus invites you, come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, the Lord gives you rest and peace. There are restless people around us. Now, there are many who are restless. Around 19 people looking to Jesus right now, restless. They have no rest at all. They are troubled. They are tortured. But the Lord says, take rest. I will fight for you. This war belongs to the Lord, not to you. This war belongs to the Lord and victory belongs to Him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Just 
continue the prayers jesus jesus my lord my, lord, my, master, my master i just consecrate i just consecrate all my sickness all my sickness heal me lord heal me lord i just consecrate i just consecrate all my people all my people who my love whom i love and care and care touch them now touch them now heal them lord heal them lord heal them lord heal them lord thank you jesus thank you jesus a person's name benny you are being touched by the lord right now and uh, you are a suffocation and breathing complaint is being healed right now thank, thank you, you jesus. jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. and to uh, iona you are being blessed and your prayers are being answered right now you are troubled but the lord says come to me look at me and the lord says you are blessed your prayers are being answered thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus now we transfer our hands on our chest when we transfix our hands on our chest that is a sign of the cross emperor constantine saw that sign in the sky and a letter and a vision in this sign you will get a victory so this sign gives you a victory over your enemies some people are being troubled by the enemies because of jealousy and hatred and because of their greed you are being tortured right now you are set free thank you jesus thank you jesus joseph is being tortured because of the greed of the neighborhood people the lord says you are set free right now amen thank you jesus thank you jesus, jesus. joe you are being blessed right now by name and your prayer life is being blessed and the lord has blessed you with a wonderful prayer thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus a person named sandeep you have a lot of problems in your workplace the lord says today i am going to rescue you and your problems that will disappear the amen. lord says come to me with all your sorrows and tears i will give you consolation thank you jesus thank you jesus psalm 121 verse 1 in all my distress i look to jesus psalm 121 verse 1 in all my distress i lift my i eyes i lift my eyes to the hills and from where will my help come from where will my help come and my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth let us pray together my help my help comes from the lord comes from the lord who made who made heaven and earth heaven and earth the whole universe is created by jesus the whole universe is created by jesus by the word of god and for him and uh, for jesus the whole universe is created now you are looking to the creator and the almighty god in the form of a eucharistic bread and who made heaven and the earth so my help always comes from the lord i look up to the mountain mountain means in a high place now you are looking to a high place not looking down but you are looking to this altar this sanctuary now your help coming from this sanctuary your help coming from this sanctuary all of you may just repeat my help my help comes from this sanctuary comes, comes from, from this, this sanctuary my help my help comes from this sanctuary comes from this sanctuary in the name of jesus i pray over you right now all those who are tired all those who are weak all those who are troubled all those who are emotionally wounded touch them now and heal them lord in the name of jesus i pray that he may give you a healing deliverance and anointing come holy spirit come and fill their heart and mind somebody splitting headache is being healed right now Thank especially the left side of the head giving you lot of pain but the lord says maria the lord has healed your headache splitting headache the lord heals you, you and also a person marisa you are just having an accident the lord set you free from the consequence of the accident amen amen no now jesus knows what you need because he invites take rest in his presence as he said in mark chapter 6:31 I invite you please come and take rest in this one hour the lord gives you rest and peace because you are real help coming from the lord from this sanctuary whatever you ask now that will be granted 
whatever you ask now that will be granted thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. there are people who are rejected by many but lord is going to accept you psalm 100 psalm 97 psalm 37 psalm 37 verse 10 says psalm 27 verse 10 even if my father and mother forsake me i will not forsake you the lord says i will not forsake you i will not abandon you because you are precious in my sight you are precious in my sight psalm 27 verse 10 even if my father and my mother forsake me there are many who are forsaken by father and mother they have unloved experiences right now the lord says i will take care of you because you are precious in my sight i'll take care of you you are precious in my sight amen, amen. there are people who have lost their father and mother but they are orphans thinking that they are orphans but bible says you are not at all orphaned john chapter 16 john chapter 14 verse 16 i will not leave you as orphans i will send my holy spirit and that holy spirit will help you in all your needs if you want to get a certificate the holy spirit will help you if you want a degree the holy spirit will help you if you are a research student and your research is just blocked and it is in bondage is not making any progress right now ask to jesus the uh, holy spirit will help you to make progress in your research so i will ask to the father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever verse 17 says i will not leave you orphans this spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him and you know him because he abides with you and he will be in you and verse 15 says verse 18 says i will not leave you orphaned i am coming to you i am coming to you i will not leave you orphaned i am coming to you so jesus is already with you and with me and one more helper is going to come and assist you so because we all are in need of two help one help that is from jesus i will not leave you orphaned jesus is always with you because matthew chapter 28 verse 20 says alas i am with you till the end of the world so i am with you always you are not an orphan and um, i am always with you remember i am with you always to the end of the age and one more i will send because i am already with you and one more i sent you that is my holy spirit so we all are in need of two assistants one is assistance from jesus and another assistance that we have that is holy spirit so we all are assisted and helped by jesus and the holy spirit so all those who are orphaned all those who are troubled all those who are distressed all those who are tired all those who are weak all those who are afflicted with covid 19 just trust in jesus he is god and i intercede in the name of jesus to come and help you and send the holy spirit upon you in the name of jesus i pray over all those who are afflicted all those who are wounded all those who are abandoned and all those who are precious in the sight of the lord let all of them be filled with the holy spirit right now and let all your prayers be answered now lift up your hands fully just offer your prayer intentions whatever it be and to, to whom you want to pray please pray whatever you pray now that will be answered surely you are being answered of all your prayers right now your prayer intentions are fulfilled the family is disintegrated and this unity in the family is being blessed right now. Finances are being blessed. Somebody's medical report is being changed positively right now. That bad report is already changed. Next result, next checkup, you will get a positive report. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's hernia is being healed right now. Thank Whatever you, you ask now, please ask that is granted. For the fulfillment of all our intentions, let us begin the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Whatever we ask in between 3 and 4, St. Paustina received this message from Jesus that will be granted. And this is 3 to 4. We are in the presence of Jesus. And look to Jesus. 
whatever you ask now that is being granted let us take page number 20 and begin the divine mercy chaplet you aspired jesus but the source of life gushed for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world O oh, Fount of Life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water which gushed from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into death. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. All those who have family problems, please lift up your hands. Now we bless all the families around the world. Husband and wife separated. If you ask, if you believe in Jesus and ask, He will give you unity. And the separation will be dissolved. And the unity will be established. Barren couples, look to Jesus. You will get the power to conceive. Parents who are burdened because of children, ask for your children. Cry for your children. Right now they are being filled with the Holy Spirit. They are being freed from addictions, afflictions, media addictions, drug addictions. They are set free because of your prayer. Jesus takes all the babies in his hands and blessing them. Jesus blessing the senior citizens. All those who are tired, weird, the Lord touch them now. All those who have a Enormous problems in the families, misunderstanding, in-laws problems. The Lord blessing you right now. Jesus can take control of your family. He can take control of your family right now. He entrust your family in the hands of Jesus. And let us offer a sublime offering right now for the welfare and wellness of families around the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world now we all sing together the families are being blessed as Joshua said I myself and my family will serve the Lord if you have this intention in your heart to serve the Lord as a family, the Lord will help you to form a family and the Lord will help you to have a peaceful family. So lifting up our hands, let us pray. Come and fill our home with your presence. Come and fill our home with your Come presence. And fill my home with your presence. You alone are worthy of our reverence. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. We will serve. 
let us meditate right now joshua chapter 24 verse 15 i myself and my family will serve the lord whether you will serve or not but joshua took a decision i myself and my entire family will serve the lord please take that decision jesus heals your family makes your family as heaven joshua chapter 24 verse 15 it is to serve the lord if you have a decision as myself and my partner and my children if serve the lord jesus heals your family now if you are unwilling to serve the lord choose this day whom you will serve whether the gods of your ancestors served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the amorites in whose land you are living right now but as for me and my household will serve the lord you may take a decision joshua said for me and my household we will serve the lord in the name of jesus i pray over all families right now bless them lord even the one person in a family right now looking to you because of the faith of that one person acts chapter 1631 by the faith of one person let the entire family be saved and blessed Amen. by your prayer let your partner be turned as the best partner Amen. by your prayer and faith let your children be filled with the holy spirit Amen. by your faith let the family members enjoy peace and prosperity and fellowship and prayer in jesus name i pray according to acts chapter 16 verse 31 i bless your family right now believe in the lord never your family will be in distress just believe acts chapter 16 31 says believe in the lord you and your family will be saved hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you jesus thank you jesus pray right now believe in the lord never your family will be in distress just believe acts chapter 16 31 says believe in the lord you and your family will be saved hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. so acts chapter 30 16 31 says we believe in jesus so our family will not be disintegrated now we lift up our hands and look into jesus the second decade that we dedicate for the transformation of the people who have hatred in their heart all those who have hatred towards someone they are enemies of the humanity if you have a harboring hatred in your heart towards someone in this world you are an enemy of the humanity we pray for all those who have a hatred anger jealousy and spirit of exploitation we pray for their transformation that's a prayer for enemies so this decade we pray for the people who have hatred jealousy anger revenge in their heart jesus bless all enemies of the humanity people who are possessed with an evil spirit of enmity let them be relieved and let them be filled with the holy spirit extending our hands we offer the body and blood soul and divinity of jesus for the transformation of all terrorist and all those who have hatred in their heart all those who want to kill other people all those who want to exploit other people just pray that let the humanity be freed from enmity humanity be freed from hatred let the whole humanity be filled with the love mercy and compassion let each one stand in favor of another that is called love as saint thomas aquinas said love means to stand in favor of someone so let every human being stand in favor of another and if anyone who is not doing well there is an evil one working against them bind and cast out their spirit and save the people because we our fight is not against flesh and blood but against the spirit working in them eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son 
our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Passion, how mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, how mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, how mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, how mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, how mercy on us and on the whole world. Now we transfix our hands on our chest once again and look to Jesus. If you are a victim of the jealousy of somebody, if you are a victim of the hatred of somebody, Jesus transforms these concerned people and will help you so that they may stand in favor of you today on verse. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your enemies. All those who are wounded, afflicted by the people who are standing against them and doing witchcraft, doing something wrong against these people, let them be set free. All the offenders be filled with the Holy Spirit right now. Amen. Amen. Somebody's left thumb finger, thumb is being healed. They have a trigger finger. The Lord heals that finger. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now we take the third decade. And we pray for people who all are abandoned, wounded, all those who are alone in this world. And we pray for senior citizens, all those who have the feeling of rejection unwantedness and continuous sorrows and no interest to live in this world and always thinking how to end their life we pray for your infilling so that you are not alone in this world Jesus is with you he says I will not abandon you you are not at all an orphan in this world nobody is alone in this world because Jesus is there believe in Jesus he is standing favorable for you that is John chapter 16, 18. Jesus is always standing favorable for you. And he has a concern for you. So whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, he will give it to you. If you are in need of protection, he will give you. He will give you. John chapter 14, verse 18 says, I will not leave you as an orphan. I'm always with you. So now we pray for the healing of the sick and suffering. Psalm 34, Psalm 34 Words 18 says, God is near to the broken hearted. All those who are broken right now. Somebody lost their child. They are broken right now. The Lord says, I am near to you. The Lord is near to the broken hearted and saves the crushed in spirit. There are somebody who is always depressed and depression, taking antidepressant medicines. Right now, the Lord heals. The Lord says, I am near to you because you are broken. You are in need of me. Jesus never leaves you. He stands near to you. In the name of Jesus, I pray over all those who are broken, crushed in spirit, depressed, abandoned, all those who have no interest in life. Lord, touch them and bless them. All those who have been wounded, heal them, Lord. All those who have painful memories of the past, Jesus, heal them now. All those who have uh, the pain of loss in their life, let them gain everything whatever they have lost in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do everything in Christ Jesus who strengthens me. There are many who have this problem. I am incapable. 
I am totally incapable but the Lord says you are capable you are able to do it because the one who enables you that is Jesus one brother lost everything in the business now the Lord says to you do the same business the Lord is blessing you because I can do everything in Christ Jesus Amen. somebody just going to abandon in the research half way done but the Lord says don't give it up go on because Jesus strengthens you right now there are parents I have seen six of them are abandoned by their children right now Jesus turns the heart of the children towards the parents reconciliation going to happen amen. amen a wife is abandoned by the husband and going to abandon another one the Lord says it will not happen I can do everything in Christ Jesus I trust in Jesus he keeps me going on and he helps me to do everything best amen. amen and also a spirit of excellency resting upon you an excellent spirit will help you now we extend our hands and we pray for all those who are depressed emotionally wounded suffering from schizophrenia bipolar disorder psychosis neurosis and all kinds of mental sickness and if you are suffering from depression the Lord heals you now eternal father I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us son of the whole world once again transmit your hands on your chest whatever loss that you have in your life whatever you have lost in your life jesus is going to help you to regain it Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. You are going to have a restoration right now. Don't think that everything is finished. Everything is standstill. No progress in my life. Now that gates of progress is being opened to you. Somebody, every time somebody is destroying whatever is good in the family, destroying it. Now the Lord says, your prayers are answered. And he will stop that destruction. In the name of Jesus, I pray over all those who are wounded, emotionally wounded and weak, let them be healed. Let your depression be healed. Let your suicidal tendency disappear. Let the Lord give you joy in your heart. Jesus may anoint you with the oil of gladness. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3. I will anoint you with the oil of gladness. Jesus, anoint everyone right now with the oil of gladness. Remove the mantle of mourning. Lord, take away the mantle of mourning. Instead, give the Lord a mantle of praise and a robe of righteousness. Take away the fa the fainting spirit and give the Lord a strong spirit right now. In Jesus name I pray let the people of God say three times loudly hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. keep our hands down the fourth decade keep our hands down fourth decade we dedicate for uh, the people who are terminally ill some people think that this is terminally ill this person is terminally ill there is no chance to have a recovery but the Lord says I will give you the strength. I will give you the strength. Psalm 103 says, Psalm 103, verse 1. My soul, do not forget all the blessings of the past. Now, 
we are praying for uh, the sick and suffering but brother sisters just think of your good days and thank the lord thank the lord psalm 103 verse 1 says psalm 103 1 says oh my soul do not forget to the blessings of the lord and do not refrain from praising him day and night so right now think of all the good things already happened in your life oh my soul do not refrain from blessing god thanking god and uh, verse 2 says there are reasons for that bless the lord oh my soul do not forget all his benefits once you enjoyed good health thank the lord for that once you enjoyed good finance thank the lord for that once you are very strong thank the lord for that and verse 3 says he forgives all our iniquities and heals all our diseases thanks with your hands on your chest now the bible says your sins are forgiven if you take a decision now i will become the doer of the word of god your sins are forgiven thank you jesus and all your sickness are being healed all your sickness are being healed somebody is suffering a hemorrhage the lord heals thank the you lord jesus. heals thank you somebody is just being operated and there is something happened wrongly the lord rectifying it the wrong surgery is being rectified right now beyond of medical expectation the healing already happened and who heals all your diseases in the name of jesus i pray that the lord may bless you right now and heal you and verse 4 says he has answered all your prayers don't be depressed he redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with the steadfast love and mercy he redeems you number 5 says who always satisfies you with the good as long as you live so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's youth now all those who are weak and tired they are going to fly very high like an eagle once again you are flying in the sky and your drooping spirit is being strengthened right now Amen. all those who are weak and tired they will once again go up with jesus in very high like an eagle so everything is being renewed in your life thank, thank you jesus. jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise hallelujah. You jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah lord touch all the sick and suffering right now now we offer body and blood soul and divinity of jesus as a healing remedy of all the sick and suffering eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world thank you and praise you jesus for healing all the sick and suffering right now all those who have been suffering from covid-19 pray right now and all those who want to heal the people who have been suffering of covid-19 pray in proxy place your hand on your chest and pray jesus have mercy on me and on all the sick and suffering please pray Jesus, Jesus how mercy on me how mercy on and me. all sick and suffering and all sick and suffering please pray 10 times Jesus, Jesus how mercy on me and all sick and suffering Jesus have mercy on me and on all sick and suffering Jesus have mercy on me and all sick and suffering Jesus have mercy on me and on all sick and suffering Jesus have mercy on me 
and all sickness, sick and suffering. suffering. Jesus, have mercy on me and on all sick and suffering. Jesus, have mercy on me and on all sick and suffering. Jesus, have mercy on me and on all sick and suffering. Jesus, have mercy on me and on all sick and suffering. Jesus, have mercy on me and on all sick and suffering. and all sick and suffering praise the lord in praise the name the of lord. jesus i pray over all those who have been afflicted with covid-19 let them be free right now amen, amen. all those who have a suspicion of cancer lift up your hands and all those who are dictated malignancy in their body lift up your hands jesus heals a cancer patient because bible says he healed everybody he healed everybody He healed everybody. Matthew chapter fourteen verse thirty six. He healed everybody. All those who have been suffering of cancer, cancerous tumor in the body, lift up your hands. And people begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all those who touched it. We are healed. Please touch Jesus now with your hand. Please touch Jesus with your hand and place that hand on your sickness right now. Whatever it be, maybe paralysis, or maybe blindness, or maybe glaucoma, or maybe wheezing, or maybe COVID-19, or maybe pain in your hip and the joints. Place your hand right now, because Bible says, "All those who touch to Him." All those who touched even his cloth were healed. Were healed. Now touch the blessed sacrament by faith and on the screen, and place that hand once again on your sickness. Be healed in the name of Jesus, according to Matthew chapter fourteen thirty six. Let the Lord touch you and heal you. Amen. 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 One small child that never walked in the life is start walking right now. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, More than of three thousand people who are afflicted by COVID nineteen are set free right now. Amen, and Jesus. whenever you come to this online ministry, then and there, three thousand, three thousand, three thousand will be healed. Amen. Thank, Jesus. You, Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Because Psalm ninety one words four says, "I will protect you under my wings, and pestilence will not touch." your tent praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus and he will cover you with his wings he will cover you under his wings and protect you under his wings and cover you with his wings and under his wings you will find refuge and his faithfulness is a shield and buckler amen, amen. and verse 3 says 91 3 says the pestilence will not touch your tent he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence that is including covid-19 right now the lord saves the world from covid-19 trust in the lord trust in psalm 91 verse 3 i will protect you from covid-19 almighty god has already promised to you and me just apply it believe it take it apply it for yourself my family members my household will not be afflicted by covid-19 even though afflicted jesus will push it out immediately the whole convent right now is being afflicted the lord says all of them are set free right now Thank now jesus. four families all of them are afflicted by covid-19 all of them are set free right now Thank because psalm 91 verse 3 says i will free make you free from covid-19 of course we all have to take care we have to do prayers and we have to take medicine beyond of our expectation the lord is blessing you and protecting you in the name of jesus i pray over all incurables and bedridden and all those who are in palliative care units let all of them be healed right now let them be healed thank you jesus jesus but psalm 139 verse 16 says if your time of death has come by prayer care medicine never you will be healed this sickness is only a preparation for eternal life if you have spare life in your lifespan the lord heals you now till the time of your death he will keep you strong and and blessed and healed now the fifth decade that we take for the people who have struggled in their finances holy spirit will assist you to earn something in this world for you and for others holy spirit will assist you to keep 
your wealth without affecting eternal life holy spirit to help you to spend how to spend it without affecting your eternal life that is called financial healing the finances and wealth and material things are not affecting eternal life that is financial healing happened and secondly you will have enough fun more for everything that is also financial healing first step of the financial healing the finances are not at all affecting the spiritual life second point of financial healing second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 always you will have enough and more in your life as the young lions sometimes go want and suffer hunger but the one who trust in the lord will not be affected as we read in psalm 34 verse 10 but